Hello everybody, this is Howlin Haunt here and welcome back to another graveyard review and this graveyard review is on the um animated um LED hanging the uh, the four foot LED hanging Grim Reaper from Home Depot and Rite Aid and you know all of these other locations. Now for this is for Halloween twenty sixteen, so this is available for Halloween twenty sixteen. And you're probably wondering, oh, I'm going to buy a store and I'm going to get it. Well, it might not be there just because Halloween is over. Everything's on clearance. And when I was at Home Depot, I saw this and I was like, wow, I have to get it. It was only $5. And I was like, I have to get it. There was three there. And I and I haven't worked on Trami. One of the mouth looked broken, so I didn't get it. So I got this one. This is like the only, I'd say, only like actual Halloween prop. I'd say like actually like this. I know there's some tombstones and like some lighting, but I'm talking about actual like kind of props. Um, so the tag says Home Accents for some people's kind of uh, Halloween name. LED Hanging Re Grim Reaper. Um, I think it's important. This guy originally sold for, be, I believe, $20. Yeah, that's what it said on this thing. $20. But it went down to $5. And I was like, wow. And so I just had to get it. I know I'm not really into this. I mean, I'm not a big fan. I, mean, I like this guy. But, like, I never did get him just because I've always liked other accessories better. But I had to kind of get him when he's on $5. He's worth $5. So, I don't know, it worked because the batteries were all good in them. But I just came, I came on when I made it a video. And then I tried it out and it actually worked. And I'm really happy it works. Uh, this guy is kind of cheap. I saw one at my Rite Aid. They, they sell these at Rite Aid, but they're kind of expensive. And this is... Sorry about that. I had to do something. Anyways, um, yeah, my phone's still, my tripod's still crappy. I can't do anything about it. I'm stuck with this crappy tripod for a few years. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but this, yeah. Sorry if my camera's tilted. I can't really do anything about it just because... This will not adjust straight as it's supposed to. But this, anyway, this guy, um, I just had to get him for $5. He's not one of the, you know, I'm saying he's like the only prop. And he's actually probably my one of my favorite ones to get. Just because I like Halloween props a lot. And he reminds me of, like, when I used to go back to Rite Aid. I still go to Rite Aid, but I, like, I don't get, like, any of the three-foot guys. But this reminds me of when I used to go and say, oh my gosh, you gotta get this three-foot guy. So, yeah. But I'll show you what he does. Um, he's got a Think only he only has one phrase. Um, his his head's kind of bald. His his mouth is cheaply made. Like the ones that were not righted, their mouth. Uh, one of the mouths was broken, and then when I saw it at Home Depot just like a, you know, a few hours ago, or whenever I posted like a few days ago, maybe um, his like mouth was like weird. I didn't get it, but this one works pretty well. I'm hoping it does stay working. Um, and this is animated, of course. His eyes. His LED eyes, I'm gonna zoom in on them. Because I mostly want to. Okay. So his eyes. Um. That eye. Right there. It's actually tilted up. And that eye. Okay, so. Try to in. This eye is actually tilted up. And that eye is tilted down. So it makes me look like, like a little derpy, I guess. So, yeah. There's that. Um, the name of Aunt Panasian Creation. I actually had the, the, uh, Grim Reaper one. Not, with the, not the one with the moving mouth. And it has the same phrase. And it's kind of smaller. And I also have the, the purple one from last year. Uh, I don't have the one from this year with the moving mouth. I don't, I don't know if I am actually collecting those three foot guys anymore. Just because there's been so much made. I can't really try to get them all. I do, although, the only one I kind of want right now is the mummy one. The mummy one's actually probably my favorite because I like mummies a lot. And I was hoping to look at my Home Depot, but sadly, of course, he's probably only sold for like five bucks, so of course he's going to be sold out. Um, but this guy is pretty cool, I'd say. Um, I'm trying to show you up close just because you see the eye and his mouth. And then his hands is press. I don't have this battery compartment on, but he's got an on, an off switch, and 
um, a demo. Um, his clothes are all draggedy. Oh yeah, and the th only other three foot guy I'm working looking for right now is actually Green Green Angel, the one from Spirit. They're actually like one of the more professional one more than these ones. Um, I've actually really want him because. At first I was like, eh, he's okay, but now I really want him, and I hope to get him. I was going to get him, but I just had to, just because these stuff are actually kind of better, just because more is better than one, of course. So I went for all these, and I don't have enough money to get really an angel at the moment, sadly, but if I do get a chance, I'm hoping to get a chance, maybe if he goes on sale or something, or, um, you know, I just hope to get him sometime. But this guy is pretty cool. He says, uh, I, I'm going to show you the phrase he says. It's pretty short. I believe it's the same phrase. If you said it on um, I don't know if it's longer or anything. Yeah, he just has the same thing, not anything long or anything. But this guy is pretty cool, I'd say. He's probably a cool hanging crime. I like it better than the witch one. I I, I like this guy. I mean, his detail's not really the best. You don't really see much detail, but you can feel the detail and kind of see it, which is pretty cool. Um, he's still a pretty cool prop, though. I'm actually kind of glad I got him because when I saw him, I'm like, I, I like him. I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, i got to get it because he's a Halloween prop. I go and get, I kind of, I used to get stuff like just because it's a lot, it's a prop, not like the decorations. But now, as you can see, I'm actually going for more decorations, so that I can use it for my haunt. So, yeah. And these stuff will be used for my haunted house next year. And you're going to find out what my haunt name is, not, this, that's not going to be anytime soon, though, maybe like next year. So, yeah. So, I hope you, I, I really do like this guy, though. I think he's pretty cool. Um... He's not the best, of course, but he's not the worst. I actually really do like him now. At first, I was like, he's cool. I'm not going to get him, though. But now I'm like, oh, I, I really like him. So I think I'm going to get this guy out of a five, just because of the price. Um, I'm not having any complaints with him. I mean, I'll, maybe I'll take off a point, just because the mouth might break. It's pretty cheaply made. And I hear that it's more it's going to break. But I'm going to give this guy a 4.5 out of 5 pumpkins. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to subscribe to Halloween Haunter today. And this is Halloween Haunter. Let's do it in the dark. So I'll see you guys later and bye.